Hello, this is Stefan from the More3D Tech team. In this quick tutorial, we'll look at how to use FlexSim in virtual reality with the Morvis VR Bridge software. Assuming you have successfully installed Morvis to your computer, please launch the Morvis launcher. In the Morvis launcher, you can click the triangle in the middle of the screen to expand the launcher. In there, please choose the application enabler. It requires administrator privileges. In there, you can add the Flex the Sim executable. For now, you need to do it manually by clicking the Add button and then navigating into your FlexSim directory. It is usually found in C or your drive programs, FlexSim plus version number name folder and in the subfolder program. In there is the FlexSim.exe file. Click open and it will be added to the list. Make sure to place the enable check mark. Once you have done that, you can quickly check your Morvis output settings. So I am now correcting for HMD mode with Steam VR. I'm using my anti-aliasing set to two times. And then I'm good to go. I will start now Steam VR and wait for my HMD to boot up. Now that Steam VR is started, I start my Morvis client. And next I start Flex Sim. Inside of FlexSim, I just load my 3D model. And here we are, instant virtual reality bridging for any FlexSim model. I can now use my controller in the VR space to navigate around, to rotate, to get my VR menu and uh, place a marker, for instance here, and one over here. And now I can go ahead and teleport in between the markers. I can also do some freehand drawing for annotating. I can take screenshots I can uh, of course manipulate the size of the model now I've set for millimeter scale which is obviously too small so let's try meters bring us back to our starting position and yeah that feels right And, uh, of course, any changes that I make inside of FlexSim are mirrored live into the VR space. So, if I move this part, manipulate it, this all transfers live into the VR space. Not only the manipulation to my production line bridges into VR, but also the whole simulation will be bridged into the VR space. 